how when you're thankful for what you have, but it's time to upgrade? Let me, let me grade you. Hey YouTube world, it's me, Evelyn. I rarely invest in myself unless you count rewarding yourself with dessert as an investment. But in 2020, we're giving you new and improved, okay? We're giving you seamless workflow, systems and processes, okay? Ergonomically sound work environment, carpal tunnel, I don't know her. I have so many dreams and I need to act like I'm going after them. I'm also my own boss. And I've been a really bad boss. I, I would have quit if I was working for me. I would have, I would have, I would have quit. Thankless, thankless job. So in this video, I'm gonna share some of the things I recently got just to begin to slowly, okay? Bit by bit, not every day can be shopping spree. The things I recently got to slowly begin to upgrade my equipment and my work environment. Dedicated space. The biggest investment I made in myself is when I moved into a new space and transformed the master bedroom into a dedicated home office filming studio situation. Before this, the background of my videos was typically my bedroom, sometimes the living room, and now it's one cute, organized, easily tax deductible, dedicated space, amen. I have a whole video about my home office, so go ahead and click the link wherever links is located to watch that. It feels so good to not edit in the same place I sleep. And I used to have this really bad habit for years of working from my bed all day. And that's not what we're trying to do in 2020. In 2020, we're trying to be full of energy. I don't want to come to y'all with REM cycle energy. Now, since I have this home office, I really only work from bed on the off chance that my cramps are really bad. You know, they hit me with a yak, yak, ba, 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 ba. Blue light lenses. Shout out to Glasses USA. Okay, your girl partnered with them on this one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I have been wearing glasses with blue light lenses for at least the past three years, but they were raggedy, like jingle jangle. It almost felt like toys. And I've always wanted to invest in high quality frames for the lenses. My vision itself, it's pretty good. Your girl's sitting at a 2018. Okay, I got astigmatism that makes driving at night kind of terrifying. But other than that, we good. I just rock with the blue light lenses when I edit. So Glasses USA cuts out the middleman and allows you to buy your prescription glasses for more affordable prices without having to go to the mall. Oh, the mall, the mall. <laughs> They have over 6,000 styles of glasses and sunglasses, including designer brands like Gucci and Amani, for all you uh, bougie African aunties watching. You can add your prescription to almost any pair of glasses and sunglasses. You can also add blue light lenses on glassesusa.com. They're called digital block lenses. Glasses USA also partnered with my girl, Hilary Duff, for an exclusive collection, which is why I personally decided to check them out. Am I someone who buys something just because Lizzie McGuire designed it? Yes. Yes, I am. The Muse by Hilary collection has over 80 frame styles to choose from. She co-designed them and they are freaking cute. You can use the Glasses USA virtual mirror to try on any pair of frames to see if it's a vibe, if it's a look. Just upload your photo and see what you're giving the people. So I'm gonna show you the frames that I picked. These are the Kylie frames by Muse. This is not too much of a deviation from the norm for me. I'm giving you older millennial, okay, 1982. We're giving you, should I make a YouTube channel about getting out of student loan debt? We're giving you, I just bought a bird of paradise plant. I bought a palm frond. You know what I'm saying? A fiddle leaf fig tree. I'm a plant mom. So these are the M1191 frames by Muse. They not doing me wrong yet, okay? This is a little different for me, but I got them because the model on the website was a black girl with straight backs. You know what I'm saying? She had a strong pair of glasses, you know, strong forehead, cornrows, all just foreheads to the wind, and I was inspired. 
That's the energy I'm trying to give y'all in 2020. These frames are giving me young hacker on those CSI type shows. It's giving me uh, art curator. Like I went to Art Basil, but like not for Instagram photos. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna go to Art Basil for the Instagram photos. So I don't care what nobody say. Ah yes, these are the Francesca frames by Muse. Listen, they are to something. We're giving you Mad Men minus the misogyny. We're giving you academic, okay, textbooks. This says textbooks. We're giving you a little bit of Perry. Like, is that a beret? Wee oui, wee. Oui. All right, now these are the Clara frames from the Muse by Hilary Duff collection. What? They're pink. Don't even play with me. On the website, they looked intense, okay? But I wanted to step outside of my comfort zone, okay? And I'm glad I did. I think these are my go-tos now. I'm giving you fun kindergarten teacher. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you Teach for America, but like I went back to my own hood. And oddly enough, these are giving me a little bit of quirky, you know, off the court NBA player. Hot pink glasses, a trench coat and capris. Like that's, and loafers. Like that's what I'm gonna give you guys. Mm. Uh, hey now, hey now. This is wondering. <laughs> These are the Eva frames from the Muse by Hilary Duff collection. The whole collab is cute. These are slightly larger than the Kylie frames. And the tint on the frame itself is like a little, it's a little bit more blue. In person, it makes sense. I made it make sense. I love them. And you're watching Disney Channel. I'm gonna put on my, um, my Clara frames. So blue light lenses or digital block lenses have been very helpful for me over the years in preventing eye strain and preventing headaches, you know, inability to fall asleep quickly, all the problems that can be associated with staring at a bright blue screen all day. I do also use the Flux plugin on my computer screen, but I turn it off when I'm editing videos because I need the screen to be the correct color when I'm color correcting the video footage. So that's when the lenses come in clutch. Check out the link in the video description box for up to 60% off your first pair of glasses at glassesusa.com. All right, let's talk about posture, shall we? I feel like I got a hunchback, y'all. I, I really feel like I do, cause I'm here with it. When I work, I'm here with it, you know what I'm saying? I spend hours writing, reading, researching, typing, editing like this. I don't have a desktop yet. Uh, that is, uh, that's part two or three of the upgrade. That's, that's the next stage, maybe like two stages from now. A desktop is big and it's high and it makes you look up. You know, the screen is eye level, but with a laptop, it's smaller. So you're always kind of looking down like this, like this. You're here with it. And sitting like this for a prolonged amount of time, it's just a lot of neck strain. So I got this laptop stand from Amazon to elevate my computer off the surface of the desk so my neck isn't always bent when I'm at my desk working. It's really easy to assemble, it's sleek. The color of the laptop stand matches like the metal color of my MacBook for that seamless look. Shop around, hit your Googles, okay? Get what works for you, but this is what I got. A desk chair, okay, desk chairs, I had found out in my internet research, are high, they're so expensive. But you know what's more expensive than a desk chair? A chiropractor, that's a specialist. You got coverage on specialists? Okay, what's your insurance looking like? Ergonomics is the study of people's efficiency in their working environment. Is the blood flowing? Is your posture good? Do you got eye strain? You feel me? Carpal tunnel. My desk setup previously was far from ergonomic. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. That's why I got the laptop stand. That was really step one in my personal ergonomics here in my home office was to kind of lift my head up, get my spine aligned. And I also got the desk chair. Now, according to my research, the chair I got, super basic. I mean, you can go even more basic than what I got, but chairs can get high. 
like hundreds of dollars. There are some that are thousands of dollars. So mine's a little on the basic side, nothing fancy, but what's important is that you can adjust things on the chair. You can raise and lower the arms where they need to be because your arms need to be level with the desk, okay? So according to your height, that's different things, okay? You can lift the seat of the chair itself higher, you know, boop, 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 or lower, boop, 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 you know, you can hit them with that. You can adjust the, the tilt, okay? You can hit them with the, with the yacht, yacht. <laughs> and it has lumbar support, okay? That lower back is critical, okay? Got a nice booty cushion so the nerves in your tailbone don't get pressed and your leg fall asleep. That's a upgrade! I got it on Amazon. It was really easy to assemble if you have normal adult human wrist strength, uh, which I don't, so I had to ask for help. But it's cute and it came in a cute blue color. All right, so boom, since I elevated my laptop up off the surface of my desk using the laptop stand, I'm essentially using it now just as a screen because you can't keep your arms in the air to type. You know what I'm saying? You gotta keep them down here, ergonomics. So I did have to buy a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse. Got those, but the real upgrade, okay, was the mouse pad. It alleviates pressure, which prevents your hand from cramping up or your fingers from falling asleep. I know some of y'all have noticed over the years, but I have crooked pinkies, um, and my pinky is the first thing to fall asleep uh, on my hand when there's any amount of pressure anywhere on my arm, my pinkies <laughs> fall asleep. And the mouse pad really alleviates some of that, that awkward positioning. You know what I'm saying? That's what, my, that's what I'm giving you right now. That is my fully extended pinky. You know, we all got our issues and this mouse pad was a really affordable way for me to, again, contribute to the improved ergonomics of my workspace. So yeah, within the year, I hope to purchase a new camera, okay? This camera right here, the screen is cracked. I can't see half from here. I can't see half the screen. I be filming videos <laughs> like this. Can you, can you see me like that? You know what I'm saying? Using my imagination here. I have no idea what that looks like. I might get a new lens or two, you know what I'm saying? Some new glass, as they say. A new tripod maybe. This one is rickety. I don't even wanna, wanna test it too much, but it done me good, okay? But you know what I'm saying? A new mic, you know what I'm saying? Something a little bit more manageable. Who knows? Lights, okay, camera action. We gonna be in business. We have been in business, but with these upgrades, mm, unstoppable. Mm, I feel it. Thanks again to Glasses USA for sponsoring this video. In the video description box, I'll link all the frames that I personally chose and showed in this video. And you'll also be able to enjoy up to 60% off your first pair. In the spirit of upgrades, let me know what you would wanna see from me with all these new accoutrements that your girl finna have. I am still just one person, okay? If your, if your suggestion requires a staff, we, I'll pitch it to somebody, but what do you wanna see from me? Put your suggestions for the year in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you on the internet somewhere. Bye.